Yo, what the, oh, the hell jazz hands? What the guys, with a, a light, simple video, hard, uh, one of my class, oh, geez, a little bit of Sit back. Look at this dude. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall, and today is gonna be a simple, light video. I just wanna ease into things because Thursday is going to be one of my classic videos, so be prepared. You guys already know video essay, script, all of that. It might not be face because it's, it's kinda hard to read and then you guys can see my whatever, but today it's just gonna be just letting you guys know what I've been playing for the re past weeks um it's basically just wolfenstein youngblood and marvel ultimate alliance 3 and yeah that's it so all you got to do is just sit back and enjoy the video let's get it all right so what should we talk about first i think i'm gonna start off with marvel ultimate alliance 3 first because it was just i felt like i had more of a fun time playing i was playing with um my brothers so yeah all right so marvel ultimate alliance 3 in case you didn't know it's a switch exclusive came out july 20 no july 19th right yeah the the week before wolfenstein youngblood and obviously it's the third entry of the marvel ultimate alliance games it's just a basically big cluster of all the marvel characters you could basically think of this had the biggest roster and for the first time it was switch exclusive most of the time it was on xbox and playstation but this time it definitely worked it was made by team ninja this game was definitely it was it was bumpy but it was kind of it wasn't that bad of a bumpy ride like you know one of them roller roller coasters where it's like wooden and it's like really like jolty like that like it's it, it reminded me of that but it was still kind of fun it was especially when you're with your friends so the biggest problems i'll start off with the problems first biggest problem camera the camera bro the camera is terrible if one person is all the way across the side if like three of the teammates are no not even three if two of your teammates are on the other side and then you're on one side who i don't know who it prioritizes more but you can't move so they got to fix that second the story was it was terrible bro it was i did not like it was this campy feel which i get that's what they were going for but it didn't make sense like it it, it involved all of them but it was confusing because how the game is you get to play with any character you want but certain times of the story you're the character you were using isn't supposed to be there so it really confused the hell out of all of us because wait is he supposed to be there or not because there's this one part where you have to scarlet witch teleports you guys to this reality world and the classic avengers that we know i think aren't supposed to be there so it's basically just the x-men and those guys, I, i'm pretty sure but it, it was just very it was very confusing how they did it and then when we went to Wakanda, the X-Men were gone, but even you could, you were still playing with them. And then sometimes they would show up in the cutscene, and sometimes you wouldn't. So they got to figure that out. I, in my opinion, I think the best way to do that, I think they should just show, um, they should just restrict the team. So you only get a selection of 10 characters for this mission. I think it would be a little bit easier to follow, but that's just me. I'll do too good, too bad. The good was the amount of characters they had and how they played, I would say, at least their specials, like when you hold on R. I I liked how different they were. They were very different. I liked how each character felt different. It wasn't just that besides the light and heavy attack, you had to play each character different. There's long range characters. I've, I really liked that. Second, I like the infinity trials that they added. It adds more of a longevity to the game. Do I think this game deserves another one? Not the question. All right, next game, I'm gonna rip into very badly, bro. Wolfenstein Youngblood. What the hell did they do? 
what first of all why was this game made i knew the, the writing was on the wall too bro like but how did this game get made i'm just how how you i'm saying how, like talk to me bro this game is about bj's daughters his twin daughters named jess and so i think it's so, no i think it's zofia like rainbow six siege i think it's zofia and bj goes missing all of a sudden and if you let me just tell you this if you watch the first trailer the only trailer of wolfenstein youngblood you've seen the majority of the cutscenes in the game you're literally missing out on probably three cutscenes. this sums up the whole game how bad it is all the levels are basically the same you're backtracking and so they added rpg elements to the game and you would think that would be maybe a cool thing they're trying something new i i, I respect that i respect if someone tries something new but the reason why to me the reason why they tried this rpg element to wolfenstein was to make the game last longer because you have to switch but you have to switch your ammo because some uh some of these these guys these nazis have st like this armor so you can only penetrate them with certain weapons which really messes up the combat flow and then you have to keep backtracking because of the rpg elements because if you get higher in a level you can unlock stuff before it just makes everything feel just very lazy and they just wanted to just go like oh this is kind of a shortcut to making the game feel longer without putting in any of the work the story was just i had a problem since day one i did not think after playing new colossus the one before which was perfect i did not think bj's story was over with i don't think it was done being written i thought they were going to keep continuing his story until he had his kids which he didn't at the end of new colossus the, re the revolution just began and then all of a sudden they skip to oh you have to play with his daughters no i i wouldn't have a problem with that if bj's story was written beginning middle end he didn't really have an end to his story so why did you switch his character everyone liked his character and then to make matters worse all your the only really plot development that these characters have the only way you really relate to them is every single time they say the same goddamn lines fuck yeah jess fuck yeah jess yeah yeah jess you're kicking ass jess yeah it's like literally every single second of the game every time you kill someone that's all you're hearing from these girls it's it's literally the worst it's just a bad representative a female character i really do i they just they really this up bro this was a colossal failure bro like jesus christ this game was so goddamn bad if you were thinking about getting it do not get it everyone wants to sugarcoat it if you're basically if you're literally looking for a simple very simple game which i don't think most of you are this game is for you. If you literally have no idea, if you never played any of the Wolfensteins and you wanted to pick this one up, maybe, maybe you could have fun with it. But if you played the previous ones, this is shit. This is utter shit. Like the co-op experience, they didn't do anything with it. Why is every door, it's like cooperative. You Every door you have to lift up lift up together. It is so annoying. So you're telling me every Nazi has to lift up every door together? Like, yo, Das, come over here. Come over here. I need your help. Like, bro, Jesus Christ, this game, bro, mine comp. Like, my struggle, bro. This is good and bad. They brought back all the same weapons, and they felt the same. But everything else was bad. This game was, you could clearly tell how pasted this game on this game was because the graphics literally look the same and in cinematics when you were high on top most games especially this game how detailed it was especially from the last new colossus 
you could see where there's this one scene where Jess and uh, the other sister, I forget her name, Zofia or whatever, they're sitting on top. And you could see the, si the city, they're on top of this high skyscraper. You can see the city, it's blurred out. It's foggy because I, I, and I really don't think that was intentional because there's a bunch of levels where you go on top and everything else, it just downgraded. It's barely rendered. And I'm pretty sure in New Colossus, there's other places where you can explore where everything was detailed. This game just did not need to be made. Bethesda forced the studio to do this and now they ruined a good franchise. Thanks a lot. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Some light, I said, Battlefield, I'll, I'll just give you a hint. Next uh, Thursday, it should be posted Thursday. Thursday is going to be one of my classic videos, so stay tuned, get your notes, get a, get prepared because this one should be like, I'm aiming for like eight minutes, trying to explain it well, because this is a very important topic to me. I'll be back at you guys Thursday. This was just a simple light video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, like and subscribe, it helps a lot. And I'm out. Peace.